Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta in Dharamshala at what should be among the prettiest test cricket grounds in the whole world. And definitely, without an argument, it is the highest. And my guest today, somebody who's primarily responsible for making this happen, Anurag Thakur, also the second youngest ever chief of the BCCI. Thank you, Shekharji, and welcome to Dharamshala. Congratulations, Anurag. And I, thank you. you know, it, it, thank you very much. It's your first interview uh, as BCCI uh, chairman now. Thanks to you for coming all the way to Dharamshala. You know, this is, you know, I think a lot of people will come to Dharamshala because where do you get a venue like this? Because it's as pretty as, uh, say, Cape Town. Uh, and much higher than, I mean, I'm thinking of all other test grounds. Maybe Candy has some altitude, but this is almost twice as high as Candy, 4,700 feet. I've been curious to ask other international players who have played in Cape Town, Queensland, and other Newlands, various places. But when they come, even the player from South Africa who comes from the town of Cape Town, they say this is far prettier than other grounds. Well, Cape Town, you can get anything. You can you can never get snow That's true. on the table mountain. That's true. And when you have your test match here in February, now we have some snow, some streaks of snow, but in February, they'll be white. Of course, yes. It's going to be snow-picked mountains and... Uh, Hopefully a good game of cricket between India and Australia. I invite you for over a cup of tea. We can watch the game. You don't have to invite me. I'll be here. <laughs> but you know, uh, I think that's what that, that's where these mountains draw their name from Dholadhar. Because Dhola means white. Ji. Because they become very white. They have a lot of snow. Yeah. So that will be some test match. If the test match is boring, which it should not be, you can spend enough time watching this beautiful city of <laughs> Dharamshala. I think test matches these days are not boring and we will come to that. But Anurag, uh, as BCCI chairman, in very interesting times, if I may say so, uh, how do you set your priorities? Is I, it Supreme Court first, Supreme Court second, <laughs> Supreme Court third? I don't, I don't know why do people say challenging times, but I see opportunity in this challenge. I'm here for 18 months and I'm going to deliver. Hmm. In, the, in these 18 months, our focus is going to be on fan, on the foundation and on the future of cricket. Fan is the most important to me. Uh, you are sounding like Mr. Modi, triple F, 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 F. Fan, oh, fa uh, <laughs> foundation, uh, future. But, but for me, actually, <laughs> right. the fan, fan is uh. important because fan makes this game very popular. No, in fact, what you're saying is very important because, you know, spectator experience. Yeah. Uh, in a ground also is very important because our spectators suffer in the grounds. If you look around, our, all seats are numbered. numbered yes. When you go as a spectator to any of the ground, seats, you are, have, not numbered. You have, seats are not numbered. If you have to stand, if police get the... Uh, uh, people get gate crash or they get into the stadium, what do you do? You spend 10,000 rupees or 2,000 rupees on a valid ticket, but you don't have a valid seat. Mm -hmm. So. This is the first experience, not to stand in the queues, a neat and clean toilets, but this is a green uh, environment. Yes, but this is Dharamshala. Uh, will this be done for other uh, venues also? Every ground which have to host an international match this year, they have to first do this, then only they'll get the match. They have to have numbered seats. They have to have numbered seats, clean toilets. They have to have rainwater harvesting structure within next one year. That they, you better do <laughs> or you'll be in No, no we, we are serious trouble. about it. And we're going to have the energy audit done in next one month or two months. And by September, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, installing the solar power plants on the rooftops. So you consume less power and you generate also power in your stadiums. So learnt your lesson from IPL this year, Bombay uh, High Court? Not really, not really, because you can't hold BCCI responsible for the drought of Maharashtra. Right. If the people have done nothing in the last 15-20 years, the cricketers or the cricket board should not be held responsible, held responsible for that. Because we don't use that kind of water. And in any case, when as Rahul Dravid said to me uh, in one of our events off the cuff, he said that, look, those grounds are maintained anyway. In fact, everybody said those grounds yeah. are maintained anyway. Uh, so it's not as if grounds will die. But why I said futuristic? It's for the coming generations we need to have green stadiums. Right. And I've not only really said, I've earmarked 100 crore rupees to do that mm. within one year time. Mm. I've got only 18 months. Right. So I have to deliver. I'm here to deliver. You've got six quarters to, as we say. I have to play a T20 match. I have uh -huh. to score a century in T20, I believe. Right. Uh, so this, I'm still on this IPL thing. Was this decision from Bombay High Court a setback? Was it unfair? I think let's forget about that. Whatever happened, happened. 
BCCI has got used to it. You know, last time orders or from the government courts and all that, you're forced to move IPL out of country or from one city to another city. But look at the working of BCCI. We still successfully hosted the IPL. Many people criticize IPL. Why? It is a popular game. It entertains the fan. It gives a platform for no, the for for the players to play with wealth for a lot more players instead of the 16 who are picked for India. Shekhar ji, we forgot about the wealth. Wealth right. is one side. Right. If, what IPL gives? IPL gives entertainment for the fans. It gives a chance for players to bring glory and earn money. It gives a platform, or it's a, I will say it's a it's a platform where broadcasters can earn money and eyeballs at the same time. It's a platform for the advertisers to spend millions and millions of rupees on advertising their product. It is the fastest growing league in the world. It is rated at the number six in the world overall leagues in the world. Number six in terms of uh, audiences or in, in terms growth. of growth? growth and audience. Growth. I see. And if you look at no big ticket movie is released during this time. Right, absolutely. Yes. No TV serial is launched during this time. So that clearly shows this is the biggest property on TV in India. And you are going to protect it? I am going to make it grow. Hmm. For me, my domestic cricket is very important. And IPL is a domestic product, domestic cricket. Is you don't want to go out of India, right? Like last year, this year. I there love was some... my country. I want to play in my country. But if, if we are forced to take it out of India, that will be the last thing I have to do. Hmm. But we don't want that somebody force us. Because today, you can't force people. Even to our children, we don't force our ideas on them. We give suggestions. We tell them, if you do this... Because a lot of people say, I disagree with them, but a lot of people say, ah, IPL is no cricket. How can you take IPL seriously? You know, if you look at I your... I do. I watch if, every, if, if, every if, evening. Shekhar, if you look at your teams today, right. many players are picked from the IPL, IPL. tournaments. Right. Your domestic players have performed with the top-notch players of the world mm -hmm. and they have done extremely well. Your Bumra, Sran, people like this. Yes. Yeah, Mandeep Singh and all Mandeep that, Singh, the yes. KL Rahul and all, yes. all of them they played in the, right. domestic, in the IPL and they graduated to the Indian team. So I think it's very important to understand. It helps your ex-cricketers, current cricketers and the upcoming cricketers not only to earn money but also to perform and get all the glory. Hmm. So left a choice, you will not, not take it out of India? Not at all. Not at all. Drought or no drought? I mean, we'll take care of everything. We'll, we'll, now we have to see all those things which are not even seen. What will come from which way, you don't know. You don't know. So you have to be prepared for that, I huh. believe. So did IPL, I mean, it became a great success from the first year. But did it also have a controversial start because of the man who personified it? Lalit Modi. I think his style, his flamboyance. For me, individuals are not important. For me, institution is important. And once you are focused on individual and think about the institution, there's where you suffer. No, but, but okay. So, so a personality cult was built around IPL. I mean, I'm translating yeah. translating yes. it yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. And that was wrong. That was wrong. wrong. What's so it's a member-driven board, it's a fan-driven board, it's a fan-driven game. Hmm. It should not be seen around a specific person or personality cult, cult what you said. Hmm. So I think we should avoid that. But did some of you pick that problem when it was building up, that a personality cult was being built? Of course, yes. In a couple of years' time, when you see that the things, the way they were moving, and many people were feeling uncomfortable in the board. Hmm. And when they raised their voice, and you had enough reason to take some action on that. Because, you know, uh, for me, the big sort of uh, turning point in terms of my own view of this was when I saw Lalit Modi, after every match in South Africa, distributing those checks to, to school kids as a kind of IPL charity contribution. And, and that was a clear case of a personality cult being built. I think whatever has happened, happened. Has happened. We have learned from, if, from the mistakes in the past. And I think IPL is a great product. IPL is a great platform for the cricketers, for the advertiser, for the broadcaster, for the country as overall. 
the economic output in one season of two months is more than three thousand crores. Mm. That clearly shows the value of the product. And that has all gone gone. Most of it has gone into cricket in India. Of course, yes. Of course, yes. And uh, has also given Indian board superpower status globally. I'll I'll show an example. Huh? Before two thousand, there was no stadium in Dharamshala, but post two thousand. We had this beautiful stadium, and I have five more grounds, which are equally beautiful. May not have that big structure, huh. but as pretty as these grounds. So, where this money came from? This money came from the IPL matches and for the international matches. Shekharji, for me, my fan is very important. If Australia and England can have a fixed season, a slated season, which they call tradition, but if India ask for it, media call it arrogance of Indian cricket board the right. way. For me, my fan is important. Why shouldn't I give a fixed cricket season to my fan? Absolutely. From yes. October to March. Some media says, not all media. Yes, some media. And, and I don't some... even think cricket, <laughs> sporting media says it. I, I think. And that is the reason. I, when I became the secretary, I said for the next eight years, we have to fix our priorities. I have to play minimum number of matches. Like I'm playing 13 test matches at home this season. Right. In next five years, I'll be playing 46 test matches in India. 76. Uh, one day international and 21 t20 matches along with the champions trophy and the various seasons of the ipl so i am getting the cricket the international cricket to india when it matters most to the cricket fan when the good weather you can sit out watch cricket follow it during diwali dashara 26 january and various christmas and all that yes because our stadium should become uh, public spaces that we don't have in our cities true People should go. So, uh, sticking on to the controversial aspects, uh, Lalit Modi was one uh, personality was one issue that uh, brought controversy to IPL. The other was betting match fixing. We suddenly thought that the ghost we had left behind in early 90s had now come back to haunt us. Yeah, it's very important because you need to have a clean game. For that, the conduct of players matters the most. And I think there's a people need to differentiate between betting and match fixing people bet on right huh? weather conditions uh -huh. elections to various other things that that i think the governments the local police have to work on that as far as the player conduct is concerned that is very important they should not get involved in these kind of acts which brings bad name to the game of cricket so those so for for that bcci is doing is doing the educational programs our anti corruption unit reach out to every Ranji Trophy team, every junior team, tell them you should not get in touch with people who have a bad image or you don't know them personally. <clears throat> and that education has helped us. Before the start of this season, a player was approached. And the player who was approached, he directly informed the anti-corruption unit that a colleague of his has approached him. The anti-corruption unit acted, given a report to the BCC and suspended that player. That is how the education Hikensha. Hmm. So that is that is the that is the way forward so to it, educate it, so players. So this is preemptive uh, action. I think it's better to prevent rather than cure. So talking about selections, there is a this great folklore about you having being the chairman of the Himachal Cricket Association and having selected yourself as the captain of the team. You have to know the background because I used to play for Punjab earlier. I was used to be captain of Punjab under 16, under 19, North Zone uh, under 19 teams. In fact, you had a good record under 19. I was reading. Uh, I was the, one of the highest run getters. Yes, I played right. against England under 19. Was a member of the Punjab Ranji Trophy team and the Guru Dev University. All these teams have won the All India Championships. When I became the Himachal president in the year 2000, I was just 25 years old. I was not 45. Huh. And Himachal never won a game before that. During the last match of the season, of the Ranjit Trophy season, I saw that our players are just participating. They are not playing to win the match. I mean, Himachal was the team that even Jammu Kashmir used to beat. Yeah. So I played that match. And I said, you have to change your mindset. You have to think about winning the game. Think differently. And that has changed the mindset. In next four years, we became the national champions. So you actually the same team shifted from Punjab to, Haryana, uh, to Himachal to play? Not really. Not really. Not really. I played for Himachal. When I became the Himachal president, 
I was not playing cricket. Right. Only one match I played just to be with my players. I was not 50 years old, I was I just 25. And that was only one match? That was only one match. Only one match. From next year on you were not playing. I was and not. Himachal was doing better. Much better. Much better. We, we, we become the champions. But this chases you wherever you go. That's fine. Let people think what they have. But the Himachal players know how we have created infrastructure for them, how we provided facilities for them and how the performance have enhanced or improved. That clearly... So you talked about the media. Uh, and in fact, quite a bit of this resentment comes because media thinks that Board of Cricket Control is Board of Cricket Coverage Control, BCCI. C -I. You know, you raised a very relevant question. I'm going to propose it to the uh, BCCI members that this control doesn't go with the BCC. No, no, we are, we are the custodians. No, but you control to karte na. For example, even the commentators on TV channels are in a way employed by you or contracted by you. Very few. But still, Very they, are few. The, they are the only ones. Very few. But it is the prerogative of the broadcasters to decide who they want as <clears throat> uh, commentators. We don't decide on that. Even to take you the... Mean, you mean even if, if broadcasters if, want, whoever gets your contract, it can have commentators other than the ones that you have yes, contracted? Of course, many. There are many. There are many. We just uh, contracted few in the past to get them during the IPL because you are launching a new product. We wanted the best of the best commentators so available. Are you willing to, to give up this control? Because to me, this is truly fixed media. I personally said that for me, our job is to care for cricket to care for the fan, to care for the uh, members of the board. The, this control has to be changed. Because I, this I is, personally recommend... This is paid news of the worst kind, that people commenting on you are paid, for, uh, paid by you. Not really. They are. Broadcasters take care of them, and we have never told any commentator to convey anything. No, they, no, they are people, not our mouthpiece. No, no, but people know. But once, once people no, know where the, the, who's putting the butter on the bread. Not really. <laughs> but, but if you look there at the, no doubt. But you speak to the players. They come and say they are, they are criticized for what they have not. For example, Virat has been said, oh, he has played more shots rather than scoring more runs. So, I mean, these kind of comments. No, but but that's, that's fine. That's part of that's life. Fine. That's part of life. You know, a, a player also is in public life. Just as you in your political life, face everything that comes your way. That's fine. I mean, you can't tomorrow say that BJP will now have two uh, two editors. I mean, besides we, getting Rajya Sabha seats, they will also comment, exclusively comment on BJP's issues. I don't get into things and I don't believe in bans. And you, uh, and we, you, don't, you don't agree with this, this idea of controlling? In this age, ban does not exist. Right. Whether it is social media, commentators or hmm. anything, hmm. I think we have to work in a different way. Then why did you ban Harsha Bhogle? We haven't what, banned anyone. What happened? Why did you drop him all of a sudden? He's a good commentator. Ask broadcasters. We got nothing to do with that. We got nothing to do with that. So broadcasters were obviously got the cue from uh, from the board. Not really. I'm the, I was the honorary secretary of the board. Will you, I've never conveyed anything to them. Will you put your hand on your heart and say the yeah, board yeah, I'll say it. nothing to do with Harsha nothing. being removed? We have never said to any broadcaster to ban Harsha Bhogle. No, so what was the story of... Harsha having had a fight with your predecessor or, or, or something that your predecessor did not like. Uh, you can ask Harsha, how can I comment on two people? No, but, but you are saying that that did not lead to his not being there. Not really. It is the job of the broadcaster to decide who, who is going to be the commentator for the series or for the season. Hmm. Not us. You have no role. Because, no no, role. because that has conveyed a feeling that this is really... A party with a danda. Not jo really. Se ga, chur chur ho ga. Not really. I think that's a misconception. We have no such intention. We don't get into these things. And personally, for me, no individual is important. For me, my institution is important. So what is your, what will be your advice to judiciary? Because, you know, you have Bombay, you have Delhi. Uh, do, you, do you find this interest in cricket and BCCI exaggerated? I can't suggest guide to the judiciary. All I want to say is... You can is, request? I don't think so. I respect the judiciary. I respect our judicial system and I have a lot of faith in them. All I want to say is we have brought in many reforms. We are one of the best run organizations of the board in the world. 
look at what we have done in the last so many years. You can't say that we have done nothing. If we have done nothing, how can Indian team become the number one in the world? How come you become won the Champions Trophy, World mm -hmm. Cups, T20 mm -hmm. World Cups, and become one number one or number two in various formats of the game? There could be reforms required in certain areas. But how many people have visited your offices, your state credit association offices, your BCCI office, or seen the functioning or, or interacted with every member of the board? I think it's very important to understand BCCI organizes 928 matches in a year. 1900 playing days, last minute change of the IPL and we still conduct that. You can't say BCCI does nothing. We have done a lot for cricket and we are willing to do much more. What has this litigation cost you in terms of reputation, time, image, money? More than money, it is a reputation. Mm. I think once the perception, <clears throat> perception matters the most. If you lose this bit of your reputation, your reputation is gone. Mm. And despite doing so much for your ex-cricketers, current cricketers, upcoming cricketers, for the country, <coughs> overall growth, overall development of the game and you being bombarded or criticized every second day which has not happened luckily for the last 18 months because we have opened up many things which used which you which people used to just you know make stories on their own is not happening anymore because we are interacting with them See, look, look at the selection of uh, coach <coughs> Which is going on right now. It is not that I have decided on my own. I have the powers to do it. I have a cricket advisory committee. We have called for the applications. Anyone who qualifies as per that, they have been interviewed by that three member committee. Now they are going to recommend few names and, and we are going to take the final call on that. But don't you think in the past, foreign coaches have worked out better? Gary Kirsten, John Wright. Look at Saurabh's uh, comment, which his his personal comment on Greg Chappell and all that. No, that's uh, that's Greg Chappell. But John Ride. We've uh, had some equally troublesome Gary, Indian coaches also. So I think let's not get into individual Indian or foreign. Right. We'll pick the best for the Indian team because we can. We need to have the best coach. Hmm. It's not about money. We can afford the best, and we should have the best, hmm. and that is why we have the great cricketers as part of the cricket advisory committee. Hmm. Great and frankly incorruptible because th true. these are the cricketers who guided India through a very turbulent That's period. That's true. Uh, when we saw Pakistan break apart, we saw West Indies suffer so much, New Zealand suffer so much. I'll, I'll say one more thing. Rahul Dravid, he's, he's not the coach with the senior Indian cricket team. He has come to work with the under-19 and India A sides. Right. When I requested him, he didn't say no to me. He said, I'll work, but I'll work for the junior cricket. That's a good thing about Rahul Dravid. Hmm. He didn't went for the senior team or right. for the big, money and, big money and all that. And fame. He wanted to work with the junior cricketers to hmm. make the team for the future. And I've spoken to many junior cricketers. They are so... So happy to work with Rahul. At the age of 17, if you have to work with Rahul Dravid, who comes as a coach, big inspiration for the young right. cricketers. And, and, they, and they learn and Good discipline. for Indian cricket, you know, like people like Rahul coming <coughs> back to, to train young cricketers. Right. That's a big thing. Right. So on the question of transparency, uh, now there is one technical argument that whether BCCI should be under RTI or not. I would agree with those who said no, technically no. Because you are not a government body and uh, I disagree with the court order. I mean, you may not say it, but I'm saying that I disagree with the court order that uh, you are like a government uh, state body. But leaving that aside, what should BCCI have to hide? We got nothing to hide, but I'll request that you do a survey on RTI. How was the experience in the last so many years? And whatever the law of the land. What we'll was the experience? That. You ask, you ask people, you ask the government officials, you ask the individuals. We don't take even a single penny from the government. We are not a government organization. Right. And if the law legally, we don't come under RTI. RTI. 
and we got nothing to hide. If we spend anything more than 25 lakh rupees is put on the website. Every big decision is put on the website. We got nothing to hide. But tomorrow if you start asking me, why did you select KL Rahul? Why didn't you select other player? Now how do you justify that? In cricket, it is not always it is that yes. it, is, it is not always that you scored a century and ah, right, scored right, a ninety right, runs. Right, right. In what condition right. you have done that? Yeah, it's it's not like so. I think getting into th that domains will bring a lot of negativity into cricket, which ah. we, which we don't want.